From lost treasures to hidden cities, there have been many strange and valuable things discovered at the bottom of the sea. Here are nine of the weirdest and coolest things found in the ocean. Number nine, an ancient computer. Recovered in the early 1900s by Greek divers, the Antikythera mechanism was found inside a Roman shipwreck near the Greek island of the same name. It is believed to be the earliest form of a computer that is at least 2,000 years old. This complex clock-like device was used by ancient Greeks to calculate the movement of the stars and planets. The mechanism was composed of at least 30 different bronze gears, and the whole thing was housed in a wooden frame that was decorated with thousands of characters. As so much of this period of history's technology has been lost, such advanced use of technology did not reappear in European historical artifacts until the 14th century. It is now on display at the National Archaeological Museum of Athens. The history of this device is shrouded in mystery. It is unclear how this intricate device ended up in the hands of Romans, but some believe the ill-fated ship was transferring a woman of importance to be married in Rome. The mechanism, among with other impressive riches on board, may have been a wedding gift from her family. Number 8. Baltic Sea Anomaly The Baltic Sea Anomaly was accidentally discovered by a team of diving experts and treasure hunters from the Ocean X team in 2011. The divers found a circular object with a diameter of about 160 feet that appeared in a sonar image as it sat on the sea floor. It looks like the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars and has an architectural structure similar to Stonehenge in Britain. Oddly enough, all of the divers' electrical equipment stopped functioning within 650 feet of the entity and it emits a strong radio signal. Some say it could be a pre-Ice Age artifact or a Nazi anti-submarine device. A long track seems to lead toward the thing, which makes people think it is some kind of landing strip. The Swedes finally managed to organize an expedition in 2012. The very first shots of the object at close range show that it is unlikely it had ever flown. It seems that it is not a flying saucer, but rather a kind of construction. The most probable theory was provided by Volker Bruherta from Stockholm University. According to him, it's just a rock. Since the Baltic Sea came under the influence of melting glaciers, these rocks probably formed at the same time. But this does not explain why satellite phones and cameras stop working near this rock. Though various scientists have offered innumerable suggestions about the entity's origins, the Baltic Sea anomaly still remains one of the unsolved intrigues and ocean mysteries of the world. Number 7. The Bimini Road the Bimini Road, sometimes called the Bimini Wall, is an underwater rock formation near North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. Researchers, geologists, archaeologists, and scientists alike have visited and studied the huge flat stones off the coast of Bimini known as the Bimini Road. They have tried for years to discern whether the limestone blocks are a natural phenomenon or evidence of an ancient lost civilization. About 20 feet down in the clear blue water is a stone path. Most people think it's a road made up of limestone blocks that's about half a mile long, but no one knows where it goes or what its purpose might have been. The stone blocks are huge and some are about 13 feet long. An American expedition in 2004 discovered a second and third layer of stone blocks which also suggests a wall of some sort, although they weren't able to get to the bottom. Some people think that this might be proof of the location for the lost city of Atlantis. Number 6. Emeralds Amateur diver and treasure hunter Jay Miskovich walked into a bar in Key West and bought a treasure map from a diver friend in 2010. He went on to discover more than 10,000 emeralds off the coast of Florida, making it one of the largest discoveries of sunken treasure in history. His company claimed that they had found over 154 pounds of emeralds, amethysts, and other stones lying on the ocean floor. Journalists from CBS News went to interview him and he poured out a laundry basket full of emeralds and told them that they likely came from an ancient shipwreck. The story earned him mass media attention, but he refused to give out more information about the map and the man who had sold it to him, claiming he had paid him $50,000 to give up all rights to the treasure. Camera crews went with him on a dive and they also found emeralds and amethysts lying on the ocean floor, but no hint as to the actual vessel that 
may have been transporting them. However, he was then sued for fraud by rivals for the shipwrecked treasure and investors that had had the emeralds analyzed found that they had been coated in epoxy, a compound that has only been used in the last 50 years. The FBI began to investigate Miskovich and in October 2013, Miskovich shot himself in the woods behind his home. To this day, the emerald discovery remains a mystery. Number five, another ocean? While this wasn't technically found in the ocean, scientists have discovered a reservoir of water three times the size of all the oceans 700 kilometers underground in the Earth's mantle. The water is inside a blue rock called ringwoodite, which might explain where our oceans came from. Previously, geologists believed that our water had come from comets and asteroids that had collided with the planet, but our oceans may have actually come out from inside the Earth. Scientists are still investigating. Number 4. Apollo Moon Rocket Engines Billionaire space enthusiast and entrepreneur Jeff Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon.com, announced that he wanted to recover parts of the Apollo 11 rocket. During the late 1960s and early 1970s, multiple Apollo rockets were sent to orbit the Earth and Moon and their engines that powered the first stages of the rocket booster fell into the ocean believed to be lost forever. Bezos said that he was inspired to dream big by watching the original Moon mission as a five-year-old in 1969. Thanks to Jeff and his privately funded project, he and his team of researchers were able to find a set of giant rocket engines in what he described as an underwater wonderland, an incredible sculpture garden of F1 engines. Each of the engines weighs nearly nine tons and they came in a cluster of five. They provided 32 million horsepower by burning 6,000 pounds of fuel every second and together they lifted the largest rocket in history 38 miles above the Earth in less than three minutes. The parts have undergone a two-year renovation process and are now on display at Seattle's The Museum of Flight. Number three, RMS Republic. Three years before the Titanic sunk, another supposedly unsinkable luxury liner, the RMS Republic was hit by another ship and sunk 50 miles off the coast of Nantucket. The ship was rumored to be carrying a secret cache of rare gold coins for Tsar Nicholas II of Russia worth over $1 billion by today's standards. Martin Bayerly, a former scuba dive shop owner, led the search for the Republic and found it in 1981. He believes that the money was a secret international loan that France was paying back to Tsar Nicholas now that he was confronting the threat of a Bolshevik revolution. While the location and exploration of the RMS Republic was a huge undertaking in and of itself, finding the treasure would be a very significant discovery. In 1987, Bayerly and his team found china and bottles of wine and champagne, but no treasure and was considered a disaster. Bayerly's personal life was also in shambles. In 1991, Martin shot and killed his alienated wife's lover and he was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. He completed his sentence in two and a half years. A Massachusetts court granted Bayerly exclusive salvage rights to the Republic in 2011. He has now teamed up with his estranged son Grant and they are determined to discover and claim the treasure for themselves. If you want to learn more, the History Channel did a docuseries about the search for the ship called The Billion Dollar wreck. Number 2. Train Graveyard In 1985, a locomotive graveyard was discovered off the coast of New Jersey in the United States. Underwater archaeologists found at least two rare locomotives dating back to the 1850s under 90 feet of water. There is no known record of why they were dumped into the ocean or any record of them being built or lost. The locomotives are rare Planet Class 222T models, which were only made for a short time because they became obsolete nearly as soon as they were produced. Historians predict that they either fell off a barge by accident or were deliberately thrown off a ship to prevent it from sinking in a storm. Although they have 160 years worth of rust, they are still in good condition and have now become a popular spot for wreck diving. The Philadelphia chapter of the Explorers Club is now working with the New Jersey Museum of Transportation to determine what to do with the steam engines. Number 1. Lost Silver The Odyssey Marine Exploration of Tampa, Florida recovered 61 tons of silver from a British cargo ship, the SS Gare Sopa, in 2012. 
The ship was hit by a torpedo from a German U-boat 300 miles off the coast of England in 1941. Only one of the 84 crew members survived. According to the company, it is the deepest and largest precious metal recovery from a shipwreck ever made. According to its contract with the UK, Odyssey can keep 80% of their haul of insured silver. The other 20% will go to the government. However, in 2007, Odyssey recuperated $500 million in gold and silver from the Black Swan wreck, which sank off the coast of Portugal during the Napoleonic Wars. After a court battle in the US, the company was ordered to return the treasure back to Spain. If you'd like to try searching for your own treasure, here are lost treasures that can still be found. Also, be sure to watch Facts About the Ocean to learn more. Be sure to subscribe and see you next time.